Welcome everybody to another overview. We're going to cover today MOG, M-O-G, on the daily and the weekly. See the situation, analyze it, and see what to expect in the coming days and weeks for this asset that has been performing quite well in this uncertain crypto market, I would say. So let's get into it. Like I indicated, the performance has been quite good recently, almost 90% in the last week, 30% in the last month, and 191% in the last three months. This asset has been flying, volatile, but it has respected technical analysis quite simply, and the performance is just there. So as you can see, the chart tendency is up to the right, the MA50 is going up to the right, and the MA200 is up to the right. Therefore, the momentum is bullish, it's going up, everything is going fine for Monk. Fairly simple, right? So we have bounce from this 8 level up to the 20 level, which is a nice progression. And now the 20 level here will act as resistance. Due to the fact that we have gone up quite quickly in the last few days, we should expect a correction fairly soon or trading sideways that we are already seeing here with the last two candles here. We are trading between 18 and 20 at this time. I guess we could correct even to 16, which seems to be the previous peak of this pump right here. So don't be surprised if the coin goes back to 16, consolidates, and then tries to break above 20. We have done, we have tested already. So there's a few people who got trapped here when the price went above 20, we, we went even above 21. Some people bought a 21 and it corrected hard right away. So they're stuck with those coins, unfortunately. So expect to be trading in this zone for the next upcoming weeks. It's kind of normal to have some selling and profit taking in this region right now, because some got in near the support here, near the trend line, and it's a nice profit at this stage. Some people like to do that in, out, in, out, but, it's quite difficult to actually do, to be able to select really the bottoms and get out or partially out on the tops. So it's fairly difficult. I don't follow this strategy. I'm more of a hold type of investor. I select an asset. I try to get in at the best zones in the chart, near support usually, near trend line support, or at breakouts. To be able to have nice entry points, you don't get them all right. Sometimes you get trapped. Sometimes uh, the asset corrects. But I usually never invest in assets that are not in an uptrend, meaning that the ME200 is going down or flat. Usually I try to avoid those assets. I want to have some type of positive momentum on the asset to be able to ride a little bit the wave and not get in a situation where I buy and the asset continues to correct for a long time. Usually I try to avoid those situations. That's why I'm covering mod today because everything is quite positive. It's positive even though Bitcoin, Bitcoin Ethereum and Solana have corrected quite a lot and have not performed extremely well. It's kind of normal. We are in the uh, post having boring region of the cycle. You just have to wait until Bitcoin does its thing and everything will resume upwards. The meme coins will go up. The best coins will go up. So don't worry about that. But when you see MOG moving and performing the way it has performed at this stage when 
Bitcoin is not doing anything, this could be quite impressive to follow and see how MOG will perform when Bitcoin pumps. Bitcoin breaks above all-time highs, how will MOG behave? Usually Bitcoin will bring everything up, therefore I'm expecting that MOG will go up. How much? How fast? How many percentages? I cannot tell you that, nobody can. But you can select the assets that are on an uptrend, that are positive, that have volume, that are respecting TA, they are respecting the resistance levels and the support levels, and that you can identify as potential winners. That's the best you can do as an investor. And after that, some will work, some won't. So you have to select a few, not 20, 30, a few, one, two, three, and stick to them and see how they behave. That's usually how I approach things. It's not for everybody. Some people don't invest in uh, Mock, for example. They only invest in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. That's okay. Some will go further down in the risk zone for altcoins. Some won't. It's up to you to decide what, what you want to do and where you want to put your money. But the riskier you go in the crypto world, the smaller your positions should be. That's the main thing. The big projects will go, the big projects will perform. Some memes will explode and perform extremely well, but selecting them is not an easy task. That's why I cover a range of assets in the channel. Hopefully, most of them that I cover and I try to be quite selective will be the ones that will perform the best. If I cover poor assets, I clearly indicate in my analysis that they are poor assets and that you should not invest in them. MUG is not one of them. So in this case, like I indicated, we're gonna probably trade sideways between 16 and then 20 for now, for a couple of days. Let's see how the structure and how it behaves. And as you see in the previous cycle here, it pumped and then it corrected and went almost to the base of the previous breakout to go higher. Will it do the same thing here and correct even further and touch the trend line here before bouncing? That's another possibility. You just have to be patient, look at the chart, do not panic and follow the asset, follow its rhythm. Some move very quickly, some will take their time. So you just have to analyze the asset in different time frames to see how they behave. I hope this analysis helps you a little bit determine what the pace is for each of the assets that I cover here. So on the weekly chart, you see here the MA50 on the weekly is going up to the right, very bullish but we have had quite huge candles here. So when you have high gains, you usually have corrections also. So here, huge pump, big correction, huge pump, big correction, huge pump. Could we go back to 14, maybe even 12? That's a possibility. If you follow what has been done in the past by MOG since this first push. That's kind of what the trend is showing you. Should you expect this tendency to continue? Yes. And that's how you select your entry points. So in my opinion, the next entry point would be probably near the trend line here after quite a bit of a correction. Let's see if it does that. If the correction you see that it's going to form a base and then starts to go up, then it means that this correction is over at this stage. You need to wait for that base to form before you identify it as a bottom. And then it's less riskier to get in and not get caught in a correction in an asset. So I hope this mug overview helps you a little bit be positive, be patient. I know, I know it's kind of boring 
and read recently all portfolios are going down for most of the investors because the big assets have corrected and it's kind of normal to see it post having we still have i think 20 days or something like that to get to the 90 day mark after the having and usually at around that time things change momentum starts to build and bitcoin starts to move that's based on history let's see if it's going to repeat in 2024 everybody's waiting for it so let's see what happens i hope you enjoyed this video see you on the next one